हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एम्प्लीकॉन्स ऑफ बायोटेक आई एम मेघराज एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज अबाउट थ्री डी बायो प्रिंटिंग सो लेट्स सी वॉट दिस इनोवेशन इज अबाउट विच हैज द पोटेंशियल द पावर टू चेंज द फ्यूचर ऑफ मेडिसिन बायो इंजीनियरिंग एंड बायो टेक्नोलॉजी इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड टू लाइक अवर वीडियोज थ्री डी बायो प्रिंटिंग इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वेर सेल्स प्लस ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स these are the biomaterials which are combined to create tissue like structures as similar as natural tissues it uses a material known as bio ink it works in a similar way as 3d conventional printing but here a digital model becomes a physical 3d object it's just like a drawing on a paper comes to life but here instead of thermoplastic or resin biomaterials are used like cell suspension now let's take a look on bio ink bio ink is the material used in 3d printing now bio ink is composed of cells only but here an additional carrier material is added which is a biopolymer gel this biopolymer gel attaches with the cells and provides the medium helps them grow and proliferate and then spread also this biopolymer gel also provides protection to the cells while the process of printing there are three key steps in bio printing the first one is pre bio printing the second one is bio printing and the last post bio printing in the first step a digital model is created and then in second step that is bio printing the actual process happens where the bio ink is placed in a cartridge and is deposited then in post bio printing mechanical and chemical stimulation of the material of the printed object is done to make this to make them stable and uh, more accurate 3d objects how does 3d bio printing work we will see it step by step our first step is 3d imaging now what happens in 3d imaging with the help of ct scan or mri scan the dimensions of tissue is created with the help of ct or mri scan the real the actual dimensions of tissue structures is created in our first step that is 3d imaging in our second step which is 3d modeling now what happens in 3d modeling here a blueprint is generated with the help of softwares this blueprint includes a layer by layer information in high details for our printing process our third step is bio ink preparation here in bio ink preparation 
living cells and compatible bases like collagen gelatin or nanocellulose these are combined to make our bio ink then our fourth step is printing in this step a highly viscous fluid that is our bio ink comes through the nozzles and a layer by layer deposition takes place then our last step is solidification in our last step at first the layer is a viscous fluid and then it becomes solid to hold its shape to hold its firm shape or our 3d structure now we will see importance and applications of 3d bioprinting on slides for our better understanding importance of 3d printing the greatest importance lies in resulting tissue like structures that mimic the actual micro and macro environment of human tissues and organs second it will reduce the need for animal trials in drug testing and clinical trials then 3D bioprinting could also eliminate the problems associated with organ donation and transplantation. Now, applications of 3D bioprinting. Artificial organs are one of the greatest drivers of this technology. As we all know, these days there is high risk of vital organ failure. Second one is development of tissues for pharmaceutical testing. It will allow identifying side effects of drugs and also recommended drugs to be given to humans with safe dose then cosmetic surgery plastic surgery and skin grafting could be done by bioprinted skin tissues then there's bone tissue regeneration prosthetics and dental applications also other various applications are there like producing food stuffs such as meat and vegetables there's a lot that could be changed in the future it's just a matter of time so this was a little bit highlight on 3d bioprinting we will be back soon with our new practical video on dna isolation from fish stay tuned for it till then you can hit the subscribe button which encourages us to make more videos like this thank you